Back in the day, there was a video from Motown Philly. Remember ABC, BBD, Boys to Men? Remember that? At the very end of the video, there were five white guys in front like this, and it said, coming soon, sudden impact. That's what we were telling girls. We were sudden impact. So if you don't know, here's what the show is. It's just a bunch of funny people telling like 100% true stories. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend and yours, Mr. Jay Larson, everybody. Let him hear. Before I get into my story, I'm gonna tell you guys the pre-story to the story I'm gonna tell, okay? So what happened was, when I was a sophomore, freshman in high school, going into my sophomore year in high school, it was the summer, me and my buddies decided, how do we spice up the summertime, you know what I mean? And we all decided, how about we rent a limousine and we go up to Hampton Beach. Hampton Beach is this divey little beach in New Hampshire. Guys drive by in T-tops, you know what I mean? With like round effects and gold chains, kind of like this dude with the glasses. That's the kind of vibe up there. And we were gonna go up there and try and scoop chicks, you know what I mean? That's what we did at that age. You play games, video games, like the claw machine, get cotton candy and try and talk to girls. So we're like, all right, 10 of us will get a six pass. That's short for passenger. And we'll ride up there in this limousine but how are we gonna explain to girls why we have a limousine? And I go, I got an idea. Why don't we tell them we're in the band Sudden Impact? Anybody know that band Sudden Impact? Of course you don't, of course you don't. <laughs> but back in the day, there was a video from Motown Philly. Remember ABC, BBD, Boys to Men? Remember that? At the very end of the video, there were five white guys in front like this and it said, coming soon, Sudden Impact. He knows. <laughs> That's what we were telling girls. We were sudden impact. Because here's the genius. 10 of us, six passenger limo, we break off. So four guys would go off looking for girls, six guys would roll around a sudden impact. Then two would shuffle out, two back in, another sudden impact. It was so sudden, guys. You have no idea how sudden it really was. So me and my buddies, we're out there, you know, we're searching. I see a girl, I meet her, we start talking, we hit it off. I think we were next to a Qbert machine. We're vibing, so we're walking around. I tell her about Sudden Impact. She's impressed. I get her in the limo. We're driving around the limo. As we're driving around, I realize, I really like this girl. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to come clean about the whole Sudden Impact vibe. <laughs> now, we got the split window to the driver right here, and there are my friends in the back with other girls over there. So I say to her, I'm like, listen, you know, I'm feeling a vibe here. I'm like, not really in Sudden Impact. And she goes, no, I know. And as I say that, my buddies down this end of the, the limo are going, um, dum, dum, ba, da, um, dum, dum, ba, it's just, with a hard sell. I mean, a hard sell. And they sounded horrible, but everybody goes like, oh, my God, sudden impact. When are we getting the cassette? That's how early it was. <clears throat> anyway, I hit it off with this girl. We vibe. I get her number. You know what I mean? All my buddies, we're all going home. We all met girls. It's a great time. You know what I mean? We're excited. We're freshmen, going to be sophomores. On the ride home, limo breaks down. Okay, we have to call parents on pay phones because it's a long time ago. <laughs> and tell them, hey, gonna be late, limo broke down, limo broke down, everyone calls. And we all decide as a group, we're like, you know, this is ridiculous. We paid for this limousine. We should get reimbursed our money because the limo broke down. And so they were like, all of our friends were like, yeah, that's a good idea. So we go to the guy like, hey man, you know, we think we should get some money back. You know what I mean? Because uh, the limo broke down. The guy goes, Talk to my boss, can't give you any money. But what we can do is take you out next week and run the whole thing back. You get the whole limo, a whole other night, come back to Hampton Beach, and we were like, done deal, done deal. <laughs> That's where we leave off. Now I'm gonna give you the rest of the story, which is the B story, but really the A story. You get it, goatee, he knows what I'm How's it going, bro? <laughs> so. It's the summer before my sophomore year in high school, freshman year's done, okay, I got through it. We're about to crush it in sophomore year. I'm walking up, you guys know where I'm going. You guys know I'm going back to Hampton Beach, you know it. I'm walking up to the center of my town because one of the guys at the pizza place I worked at was gonna drive me back to Hampton Beach, okay? So I'm walking through my town, it's like nine o'clock in the morning, I got a radio for work, I'm gonna drop it off at work. 
And as I'm walking up through town, a black caravan pulls up next to me with Kiss 108 written across the side. That's the local FM station. It's really 107.9, but they go with 108. It's a little more effective, you know what I mean? <laughs> Kiss 107 point, you don't get it. You know what I mean? You don't get that. So they go with Kiss 108, okay? They pull up to me, and the guy, there's a guy driving, and the guy in the passenger seat is dressed as a gorilla, okay? <laughs> and they go, hey, man. And I go, hey, man. And they go, uh, we're with Kiss 108. And I go, yeah, man. <laughs> Saw it. So I pull up in the neon. And they go, are you familiar with the gorilla in the morning contest? And I go, yeah, man, of course. Had no idea what it was. <laughs> just saw a gorilla sitting in the passenger. That's all I saw. And they go, okay, so you know every morning we give out a number on the radio and then if we find people, we give you a number to choose between and either you know it or you guess it and you can win that dollar amount. And I was like, yeah, of course, no big deal. Let's do it. And the guy goes, okay, the number's between 3,200 and 3,600. And I was like, 3,468, 3,468. It's pretty confident about it. <laughs> and they go, is that your guess? And I go, yeah, that's my guess. And they go, okay pull out the car phone, get the cord to call the station, get me on the radio. As they're calling, a blue caravan pulls in behind this caravan with like a little soccer mom in it, you know what I mean? And she starts waving me over. So I go, hey, I'll be right back. And they go, well, you can't talk to that woman. You're in the middle of a contest. And I go, that's my aunt. She's getting married in two weeks. And they go, all right, go ahead. <laughs> Not my aunt, okay? <laughs> so I go to the car, I go, what's going on? What's going on? She's like, you in the gorilla in the morning contest? I go, yeah. She goes, do you know the number? I go, no, do you? She goes, yeah. I go, what is it? She looks at me, pause, she goes, 3402. I go, boom, go back to the caravan. They go, that woman can't help you. I'm like, I know, man, you told me. They're like, all right, give me the phone. They're like, okay, you're on the radio. And the guy goes, it's Maddie in the morning. He runs the morning show, he's still there today, he's still doing it. <laughs> and he goes, hey, Jay, this is Maddie in the morning. And I'm like, hey, Maddie, you know what I mean? It's a pretty big deal, that's Maddie in the morning. <laughs> and he goes, Jay, where you at? And I go, I'm in Stoner, Mass. And, as I'm on the car phone, people are driving by. That's how small town is honking the horn. Like, hey, I'm like, hey, like I'm a celebrity. <laughs> and he goes, dude, you know we're doing the grill in the morning contest. I'm like, we sure are. And he goes, all right, Jay. You know, it's between 3,200 and 3,600. Do you have a guess? And I go, I sure do. And he goes, what is it? And I go, 3,402. In the studio, they're going nuts. Noise machines, I think streamers are going off. <laughs> in the caravan, different vibe, different vibe. <laughs> Drive is pissed. Gorilla took his head off. Head's gone. I mean, he's smoking butts. Smoking butts in my face. They're like, we told you that woman couldn't help you. I told you that. We told you that. Didn't we tell him that? The guy's like, we told him that. This guy's just an intern. Who knows what his deal is? Like, he's got any authority. And I go, I just look at him. I'm like, what do you, what do you want me to do, man? And they go, well, we're going to see what Maddie says. And I got a little attitude. I'm like, yeah, let's see what Maddie says. <laughs> I got a rapport with Maddie. They get Maddie on the phone. Maddie's like, listen, Jay, they told me what happened. They told me that woman helped you. We told you, you know, it was in the rules. You couldn't do it, but we did it on the air. We're going to honor the contest. We're going to give you the money. I go, Maddie, that's great, man. I appreciate it. And he goes, but I think you should give that woman some money. And I go, yeah, man, I cut her in for 50% before she even said 3402. <laughs> Maddie didn't like that so much. Now Maddie's not a big fan either. So these guys are like, all right, man, they hate my guts, okay? They're like, all right, man, let's fill out the paperwork. I'm like, all right, name, address. And they go, all right, what's your social security number? And I go, uh, I don't know. And they go, what do you mean you don't know? I go, I don't know. And they go, how old are you? And I go, I'm 14. And they go, dude, you gotta be 18 to win this contest. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I look 18, all right. <laughs> But the woman from the caravan is still there, and I go, what about, what about her? Can we use her info? They're like, yeah, we'll use her info. They get all her info, and so do I. Because I called that woman every single day for the rest of the year trying to find, you get that money yet? You get that money? I mean, do you know what's going on here, guys? That's a lot of money. A lot of money. Every day, she doesn't have it yet, doesn't have it yet. Three days before school starts, she calls me. She's like, I got the money. I was like, boom, I'm working at the pizza place. Why don't you come up on Saturday morning and you can give me the cash? She goes, okay. I'm coming up the stairs. I remember clear as day. Coming up the stairs, I have a stack of dough bins above my head. She comes in. She's like, hey, has a white envelope, okay? Sticks it in my pocket and goes, have a great school year. I'm like, all right, take care. Drop the dough bins, open it up. 11 $100 bills. 3402 after taxi. They kill you with taxes, bro. <laughs> 2200 after taxi, you got to split it, okay? 
Eleven hundred dollars. I'm making hundred and fifty bucks every two weeks. Do you know that's like forty-two million dollars <laughs> to a fourteen-year-old. And I'm I'm pretty good with my money. So I called my buddy right away and I said, I'm I'm off work at five. What are you doing? He said nothing. I said perfect. We're going to Marshalls. Yeah, we're going to Marshalls. Daddy needs some school clothes. He met me. I filled that. I was buying things I didn't even need. Okay. Didn't even, a yellow suede jacket? You think you need that? No, you don't. <laughs> Filled it up, had the, the cart stacked, I had the blue flag, I'm excited. Get to the checkout, I'm giving everything to the woman, she's ringing it through, she's like, ooh, very impressed with my money. Had it all out. As I'm paying, my mother storms in the back and she goes, what are you doing? And I go, I'm getting school clothes. And she's like, that money's supposed to be for college. And I go, well, I need school clothes, what's more important? Sophomore year, it's a big year. <laughs> she goes, fine, but I'm taking the rest of the money. I said, fine, take it. I dropped 368 bucks at Marshall's is like 17 grand. <laughs> First day of school, you know what I wore? Orange silk shirt. <laughs> Second day of school, green silk shirt. <laughs> Third day of school, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was fresh. And that woman saying to me, have a good school year was the understatement of a lifetime. I crushed it. Thank you guys so much, appreciate it.